My name is John Downey. Um, I'm from South Kilkenny here in a place called the Roar. Um, we're farming here with three Lely A4 robots and we house our cows all year round and feed them on zero grace grass. The reason our cows are kept in is because our holding is fragmented. Um, the zero grazing suits because it's all within a mile so we don't have to drive around all day collecting grass. It utilises the grass as best we can so every blade we get is used properly. I was a limousine breeder up until 2016 and we started dairying in 2017. Beef was becoming too unsustainable really in terms of margins. It was too tough to make a living. It was kind of becoming a part-time gig. You nearly needed a full-time job to sustain and the subsidies were starting to drop as well. So there was no incentive to stay doing it really. Well, I suppose the reason we chose to go uh, the way we did was because we could grow grass and we could grow it, you know, over a long period of time. We kind of start around the 20th to 25th of January and we finish on the 1st of November. We could have, you know, grazed the block at home and brought in the grass in the evening time. But I just felt it was too much work. You were trying to manage two different blocks differently. So at least this way now we can, if we have surplus grass, we just take them out in, in bales and that's it, move on. It's an unusual indoor system from the point of view we're trying to predominantly use Kiwi cross cows and grass. But our objective also when we started was 650 kilos of mill solids on one tonne of meal. That was the objective. Now, uh, in years, I think it was three, four and five, we were between 550 and 560. Last year was, was poor because we had a drought. So droughts are starting to affect us here a bit in, this, in, in July and August of, of the summer months. But I think a lot of the other systems you, were kind of unprofitable, to be honest with you. Like feeding four tonnes of nuts to a cow you know, I, I just didn't, I didn't want to take that risk, to be honest. So ours is the closest thing that you'll have to an outdoor system, really, indoors. It's based on grass. We don't even have a diet feeder here. Look, they're only after calving the last few months. Look at the condition of them. You'd never hear a cow roaring here. They never roar. Like. You know, my advisor was, was a guy called Andre van Barneveld, and he was a New Zealand guy, so... He, um, when we started off, he told me he didn't actually like indoor systems and he didn't like robots. So I said, you're perfect for what I want. Tell me why it won't work. So we did a five year financial plan and year one was obviously very tough because starting off, all the capital expenditure was coming in a bang, but as it's gone on, it's fine, it works perfect. Managing the grass is the, is the hardest part, really. Traveling the land, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, um, it's, it's not as heavy as it looks. It looks like a huge machine, but it's like a cat, like it just, you know, there's big tires on it, it does no damage. It's not like going out with a slurry tank where you have 17 or 18 tonnes, you know, on, two, on one axle and two big wheels, and you go back there in three months and you wonder why nothing has grown. Zero Grazer's not like that. It's different, it's just lighter. I got this machine, this is its third season now, and I probably intend to keep it for another two. In terms of any um, issues as regards breakdowns or parts, there's never an issue to get them, ever. Jim is always open and has opened for me on a Sunday previous, so I'd be quite happy with the service I'm getting from him. Normally we'd be getting three loads a day at peak, depending on the weather, depending on grass growth, but three loads a day would be the norm of what we would be getting in. If it's going to be raining tomorrow, we can bring in, you know, today's grass and tomorrow's grass. So as long as you're not piling it too high, and what we generally tend to do is, is spread out the load as far as we can on the concrete, and uh, it's fine the next day. If you're a conventional farm, you're, you're trying to hit 1,300 covers, 1,300, 1,400 covers. I don't think they really suit the zero grazing system. Number one, you're burning too much fuel, driving around collecting your grass, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is it's, it's difficult in a cow's stomachs because there's no residuals. I would prefer to be cutting at 16, 1700, but the problem for me doing 16 and 1700 is if you have growth of, you know, 80 a day, for example, you know, in three days it's after growing 240, it's gone out of control. So it's very, very hard to manage. Your window is much smaller to manage the grass. And obviously the heavier covers, they don't produce the, the goods. It's about two things really. It's about the cow and it's about grass. That's what it's about. So you're trying to get the right kind of grass into the right type of cow. It's very simple, it's not rocket science.